well as his Pat Walker Mission Winners, in-depth analysis on how and why and where we got in, bought Tesla, why I was on the key list. There are a couple of different chart patterns that we use. I love a clean and simple flat base. I say it all the time, and there's a reason why. It's a pattern that's easy to see. If we see it, increases the potential that other people see it. And isn't that what we want from a pragmatic perspective? We want everybody to see what we see. Why? It increases the potential that they will buy also, right? And isn't that what we want? Another simple pattern is a higher low. A stock falls and then it rallies up and then it falls again. And you look and say, maybe this is the higher low. Maybe this was the higher low. We don't know. We don't have to forecast just this simple thing. This low is higher than this low. We'll watch it and see what happens. Advance it one day. You go, oh, look, it picked up. Volume was okay. It would have been nice if it was a little bit heavier, but it sure closed okay on that bar. You know, and was there volume into the close on that bar? Yes, there was. Could you have bought some on this bar? Yes, you could have, but would you have bought a lot? No, why? Because the volume wasn't that heavy. Volume talks. Price and volume together yells. So you can say, okay, well, let's wait. Or I could buy some. The next day, it gaps up. Look at this. Pulls back a little bit, then takes out the open and runs. And look at the volume. See that big pickup right there? They voted. They bought. The higher low setup triggered. Paused right here at the 21-day moving average line. Oh, the next day pulls back and then lifts through and takes out the highs of this bar and takes out the 21-day and the 200-day. If a person wanted to, they could buy more. But remember this, rules of proper pyramiding. If your first buy is X number of shares, whatever X may be, your next purchase, any add-on, any subsequent add-on must be less than X, okay? Rules of proper pyramiding. If your first purchase is 50 shares, your next purchase should be 30 or 20 shares. Control risk so you don't pull up your average price too much. That will help you. And it triggered, so you're in, and you're in. And then it does this. Look at this. Gaps up, pulls back, lifts on heavier volume. If a person wanted to, they could buy more shares here. Not up here, taking out the highs of this bar. Higher low setup. Simplicity. That's all it is. And it does this. Everything's fine. And it does this. It's fine. Going up on increasing volume. Oh, look at this. Runs up to the line. Pauses there. It's all right. No problem. I drew that line. Okay. Just to illustrate. I'll take it off. Okay. So what it's going to do now. You could sell some if you wanted to. Closed okay on this bar. And then it does this. An inside bar. Look at this. This is very constructive. A quiet inside bar. The range of this bar is inside the range of this bar. That's why it's called an inside bar. It's also constructive because it did it on less volume. It's also constructive because it closed above where it opened. See that? See the close and the open there? Look at that bar. A quiet inside bar on much less volume. What's it doing? It's consolidating. It's just resting. It's consolidating. What would we like to see? It would be nice, this was on the key list, if it takes out this pennant, the tops of this pennant with volume. And it does today. Now, I didn't know when this was happening. You made a video this weekend. We didn't know that it was going to gap up today. We don't know the future, okay? We don't play that game, you know? But it did, and it was news-related. It was news-related, all right? But isn't that nice? First entry down here, all right? We'll call it... 802, 803, okay? More here and here, okay? But first entry, 802 to 803, all right? We didn't buy down here. You gotta wait for it to take out the previous day's highs. The high on this bar is $800.70. Near the close, you buy some. You buy more, you buy more, marked, and it runs like this. Each subsequent buy was less than the original buy. Rules of proper pyramiding, and it lifted. But you know, from, we'll call it 805, up to, you know, 1090, that's, that's good money, right? There it is. That's the higher low illustrated. This low, 
higher than this low. Reversal of a trend lifts off volume confirmation on that bar, big volume spike, and you're off. Mm -hmm.